This tutorial is on avoiding plagiarism. We know that many times the teachers talk about plagiarism and that it's something that we shouldn't do. But in order to know what we shouldn't do, we must realize what plagiarism really is. So what is it? Plagiarism is essentially presenting something and calling it your own work when it really isn't. An obvious one is copying from the internet and pasting it into your own paper. Another one would be copying from the book and without using quotation marks, using that information from the book and placing it into your paper. You could present someone else's ideas. It's not your own idea, but you put it in, you put the idea in your paper and it's as if it was your own. When you don't summarize or paraphrase properly, so when you're making mistakes in those areas, and we'll talk about them shortly. When you don't use proper citation, when you forget or you don't add the citation in text citation, Again, those are examples of what plagiarism is. And lastly, when you don't include or record all the sources of information that you used for your essay. So let's look at a couple of ways that you can avoid plagiarism. The first thing is summarizing. What is summarizing? So when you have your text or your source in front of you and you're researching the topic, when you summarize, you're pulling out the main ideas, the main points. Think about this. Think of it as the movie trailer. When you see a two hour movie, you are interested in that two hour movie because of the 90 second trailer. The trailer only gave you the highlights of that movie. It did not include details. It did not include subplots. It's the same when you summarize a source. You're only giving the highlights. And when you summarize a source, that helps you avoid plagiarism. What is paraphrasing? Well, that's when you reword or you restate the material. So it is important for you to read the information very carefully, understand what you're reading, and then be able to tell it in your own words. You can use synonyms for some words to help that you're not exactly copying what is there. Another thing to help you would be to change the sentence structures, change the voice. So if it's in passive voice, make it active voice or vice versa. Change the parts of speech. For example, I might see the sentence, safety of the passengers is important. So you can summarize that by saying, keeping passengers safe, is essential. So I changed the part of speech safety from um, a noun to an adjective and then I used a synonym from important to essential. So when you're paraphrasing you're taking notes from the material that you're reading or you're looking at, you're understanding it and you're being able to write it in your own words. So let's take an example of how I would paraphrase something. So this is taken directly from the CBC uh, News. So I did copy paste, but I also showed you where I got it from. And this is how it reads. The Walt Disney Company is swooping into the Canadian market with its powerful new streaming platform, Disney Plus, in November. And analysts say the menu of Marvel superheroes, Pixar characters, and Disney animated classics could give viewers another reason to drop cable altogether. The company says Disney Plus will cost $8.99 per month or $89.99 per year when the service launches on November 12th. So that's the actual paragraph. When I see what it looks like as I paraphrased it, I reworded it, the Walt Disney Company, that can stay the same because that's the name of the company, so you wouldn't change anything there. 
is offering a new streaming service called Disney Plus. Again, it's the name of something, so you wouldn't change that starting on November 12th in Canada for $8.99 per month or $89.99 per year. A variety of shows, including superheroes from the Marvel series, Pixar, and the typical Disney animated classics will be available for customers. Analysts predict that people will no longer subscribe to cable service as a result of the many viewing options. So I reworded it, I used uh, synonyms, and I changed some of the sentence structure so that it was something that was paraphrased. It was not copied. So again, how do we avoid plagiarism? Here are some ideas. Always, always record the sources of information. Include all the information. Don't leave anything out. Even if you're not sure if you're going to use that source, copy it down anyway. It's better to have it and not use it than uh, try and find it back again when you need it. So read the material, understand it, then paraphrase it or summarize it in your notes. Try not to copy paste if you're using electronic sources and right away into your document. Try not to exact, use exact quotations when you're writing these um, in your notes. If there's something that you really want to capture, then make sure that you include quotation marks. And again, this goes back to recording all information. If you're going to use this quotation, you want to make sure you have all the information there. You do not need to cite anything that is common knowledge. So what the average reader would know without Googling the information or looking at it in a text. So if it seems to be common knowledge, then you would not have to cite it. But if you are in doubt, cite the source. It is better to cite that if you're not sure than to claim a lot of this as your own work when it truly isn't.